Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to duplicate your database to another server and we will be using Armen duplicate from backup. The Armen duplicate allows you to do an active duplication where you do not need to have the backup transferred to the target server or destination server. In this particular method, this is the another method and in this particular method, we will be, we need to have the backup of your source server or the original database copied to the target server. This is the second method of duplicate of your RMAN and I have already covered the active duplication in another video. So in this particular tutorial, when we do this particular duplication, we can also rename our database to a different database. So you can, when you do the duplicate, you can actually at the same time, when you are doing the RMAN clone, you can actually duplicate or rename your database. And also you can restore your database to a different location. And we are going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to restore the, the source database, the my master main database to a different server. And when I'm restoring that particular database, I'll be restoring it using a different name in a different location on a different server. So let's think of what we are going to do. So I'm going to restore my database, the main database on a different server in a different location and with a different name. And you can achieve this in a single RMAN command, RMAN duplicate command. You can achieve all of this in single RMAN command. So let's learn what are the steps that we have to do. So we will be taking the RMAN backup of the database that we want to restore. We'll be transferring that backup file to the target server. We'll be creating the P file if it does not exist and transfer that P file on the target server. We'll also transfer the password file on the target server. So these are the files. This the backup file, the P file and password file is all that is needed on this sec on this second server. Once all of this is done, we can safely log off from our source server and we will we have all the work on our target server where we are going to restore. So on the target server, we will be creating an TNS entry to the source database, the main database. We'll be opening the database in no mount using the P file that we have transferred and we will be running the RMAN duplicate command. This is all that we need to do. So let's get on with our environment. So let's see our environment. This is the white screen. This is host name DB1. And under this host name, you have a database called Aura19. So let's run that. Let's see the database called Aura19. And let's connect to the second server, the second node. This is blue screen. This is the white screen. This is the blue screen. The host name of this is db2 while this is db1 and on this particular host as you can see there is absolutely no database running and if i show you cat etc or a tab it's completely empty there is nothing in that particular file so if i show you this particular file is completely empty so that's all good so what we are going to do is we are going to restore this particular database, duplicate this particular database or R19 on this particular server, the DB2. And when we are going to do, we are going to do three things. Restore it in a different database name. So we are going to duplicate it with a different database name in a different location and on a different server. So remember, we are going to do three things. So let's, we don't need to be connected to the second server so let's disconnect from the second server or oh, we have some work to be done on the primary server the first thing that we need to do is we need to take the backup so let's first before taking the backup let's set the environmental variable to aura 19 that's good sql plus as cdba let's do something let's create one table called employee so let's say create table employee id integer name of cat 6 so let's create one table with two columns in it that's done insert a record insert one employee employee values one comma rock our first employee is rock i like rock music 
that's why it's rock so that's done select star from amp we have got one employee with the name of rock in our database let's close this let's exit from this let's clear let's connect to the rman session rman target let's see if we have any backup list backup and you can see that i do not have any backup let's see the configuration parameters so our backup will be stored in this particular location let's go to this let's launch one more putty session let's go to that particular location so clear cd this pwd ls minus l is completely empty we can take the backup using either we can use the backup database plus archive log which will be complete backup including the archive log we can also take we can just take the backup database and then we can take the archive log the choice is yours or we can take backup incremental level zero database only incremental level zero database if you want to op optionally add the archive logs you can add the archive log so i will choose this particular option because this particular option will take an level zero database backup which is the complete backup plus archive log so let's do that so let's let me clear the screen so host clear screen so i'm going to do that and let's run this particular command before doing that let's verify that i do not have any directory any files over here so i'm going to take the backup so i've hit the enter let's go to this particular screen ls minus l and you can see a backup initiated at june 22 uh 22nd june at 1 am in the night and the backup is right now running the backup is going to take some time so let me pause the video and come back once the backup is completed so my backup is almost finished finished backup that has taken uh 2 minutes 25 seconds and the then it has taken the control file or sp file and control file auto backup and then there was another archive log backup so now if i let me run host clear screen and let's do let me run list backup one more time and you should be able to see we have a couple of backup entries and if i now go here ls minus l we have a couple of backups and we have a control file backup so this part the rman backup is done so let's now create the p file which we have to transfer to the standby server so let's exit let me clear let me go to oracle home slash dbs let's look at our location so we are under oracle home dbs location ls minus l init file let's see what init file we got and we can see we have only default init file let's get rid of that we do not need it so now let's let's see so we do not have any init file do we have a password file so let's look at the password file yes we have the password file we do not have the init file so let me connect to the SQL plus as sysdba and create a p file from sp file so let's do that that's a done file created exit clear and now let's run the init and we saw that we have an init file as well as we have a password file in this particular location so let's do something let's transfer this file to the standby server before transferring this particular file to the standby server let's do something let's go to the standby server and what we will be doing is we will add an entry in this particular etc aura tab on the standby let's add the entry aura 22 give the location of your oracle home slash oracle slash v19 database and let's say n for not to start automatically so let's do that let's say save this particular file that's done clear verify that the entry is there let's set the aura env to aura 22 that's done let's clear this 
and what we will be doing is we will go to oracle home slash dbs let's verify what we have we have a default in it well let's get rid of that so let's make it empty so ls minus l we do not have anything this is on host 2 let's transfer the p file and sp uh, password file and p file the init file so let's do scp init file and aura password file to db2 under this particular location let's do that that got transferred successfully let's verify now that we have got those two files so those two files are there we remember we took the backup but we have not at transferred the backup so let's create the directory for the backup so let's create the directory if it is not already there so let's do that dbe slash aura backup slash aura 19 so that's done so we create a, a directory take let's take this particular directory let's go to let's go to that particular directory ls minus l is completely empty on host 2 pwd ls minus l completely empty on host 2 the db2 let's go to host 1 this is where our backups are there so let's verify this is host 1 the white color screen let's transfer all of these backup files to host 2 let's specify this particular location let's press enter the files have started appearing you can see two files have appeared let's give it a minute and all of these particular files it looks like all of those files have transferred that's good that's good so we got all of the files transferred on our second server we have now transferred the password file we have transferred the init or p file and we have transferred the rman backup file and the auto backup control file so all is good now we can what we will be doing is we will also actually we will also take one more set of archive log backups and we will transfer them so let's connect to our main session and let's run backup archive log all so let's do that so it's going to take another set of archive log backups so let's do that now if i do ls minus lrt i got the another set of files so let's transfer all of these three files so take this take i don't need the control files so take that and let's transfer those files to the second server so that's all done at this moment we can safely log off from our stored server our work on the source server is done so let's close the putty session to the source server and we have all the work that we need to do is on the target server now let's let's work so this is the db2 this is where we are going to restore our database right now we have we do not have any database only thing that we have done is we have transferred the rman backup files the control auto backup file we have transferred the p file and we have transferred the password file this and the say we have also added an entry in cat etc or our type so that's all we have done let's now let's now go and look at our document so add an entry in our type that's done we have verified that we have received our password file and the the sorry the right so that's fine so clear pwd ls minus l you can see we have init file and aura password file so that's all done now what we are going to do is we are going to rename this because we are going to restore our database as aura 22 so we can either copy this particular file or rename this i'll i'll rename this particular files to aura 22 so password file renamed also the sp file also i will rename it to aura 22 let's clear the screen let's verify that now we have aura password 22 and we have got init aura 22 we need to change something in this particular file so let's take a take this particular file let's let me log in to the 
let me log into my Oracle server and we have to do a modification into that particular P file. So let's open the terminal. Let me go to that particular location. G edit in it. So that's done. And wherever there is Aura 19, blindly change it to Aura 22. So because we are going to restore our database as Aura 22. So I'm changing everything which is pointing to Aura 19 to Aura 22. So that's all done. So let's save this particular file. Let's verify that that particular changes are indeed saved. And you can see everything is now pointing to Aura 22. So that is good. So we got, so let's do one more thing. Let's get this particular file and grab if there is anything with Aura 19. I have done ignore case, which means it will, and you can see there is nothing. Let's see Aura 22 and everything is changed to Aura 22. So that's all good. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create some of the directives. This is where our database will be restored. This, so th no, so this is the backup. We have already created the backup location. This is where, okay, I have not created Aura 22, but I don't need Aura 22 because the backups are in Aura 19. So let's create all of these five directories. So let's take this and let's create this directory. So that's all done. So we have created the necessary directories. This is where our database will be restored. This is the FRA location. This is the audit test location. Let me show you something on the source server. So let me connect to the source database SQL plus as sysdba. And let me show you the name of my database. Select name comma op open mode from v dollar database you can see this particular database is aura 19 it's in read write mode and let me run these queries which will show you where is my log file so let's let's clear the screen host clear so that's done and let me run this query so you can see the the redo logs is in aura 19 the data file is in aura 19 the temp file is in aura 19 and the control file is also in aura 19 so what we are going to do is this particular database aura 19 we are going to restore on this but when we restore we are going to restore it as aura 22 and under a different location uh, so this is all we are going to do so on a different data server with a different name in a different location. So we are going to achieve all of these targets. So let's let's follow our document. So we have done this. Now we have to create a TNS entry for our database. So let's do this. So let's create a TNS entry. To create the TNS entry, we let's I do not need the source server. So let's disconnect. So let's set the Oracle environmental entry to Aura 22. Let's go to Oracle home slash network slash admin. So this is the Oracle home network admin. So under this, let's see if we have TNS names. We do not have TNS names. Aura. Let's create one if we do not have. That's not a problem. So let's create one. Add this particular entry. So I am pointing to the DB1. So this is DB2. This particular machine is db2 so let's verify this is db2 where we are going to restore our database and tns entry points to the db1 the database the where our main database which we are cloning that database is there so let's verify that that particular entry is working so tns ping aura 19 source let's verify and you can see it got connected so that's all good so the entry the tns entry is also working so now that TNS entry is also working. We can start up our database in no mount mode. So let's to start our database in no mount mode. We will be using this init file. So let's you, you, you if you there is no SP file at all. So even if I say start up no mount, if I say start up no mount, that is perfectly fine because that it's going to use that default file or we can specify the entire syntax. So let's whatever is comfortable so let's do that so let's take let me let me take this particular location and clear the screen and let's say sql plus as sysdba i have already set the environmental variable so i will say startup 
no mount p file equals give the location give the name of the file the init file okay i'm i'm actually 22 it should be 22 it should not be i should refer to the new copied file so that's all good so init aura 22.aura if whatever settings we have done our database will be our instance will be started in no mount mode that is good so now we are at the place where we are good to run our rman restore command before doing that let's verify what what should be our sit set new name so let's go to the first host let me go and let me go to the location where our backups are there so let's go to that particular location and let's verify clear pwd this is where our backups our main backups are there and let's verify the time so we will choose so we took the first backup around 112 and the second backup around 121 so we will choose 120 as our set uh, until time so that's what we are going to do so i will change this to 0120 june 22 2022 that's current date and i'm choosing set until time to june so 120 that's i'm going to do and let's copy so let's verify this run block what we are going to do so what i'm saying is in this run block i'm setting the until time to 120 the current date 120 i am changing the location of data files to this particular location so this is where the database will be restored if i go to this particular location i don't need this so if i go to this particular location you can see it's completely empty that's completely empty this is where our database will data files will be restored this is also where our time file will be restored I am saying duplicate database to aura 22 so i'm going to duplicate the database with a different name set db name to aura 22 the control file under this location so this is where the control files will be created this is the location of our adam this is where the redo logs file will be created so i'm creating two redo log groups one and two with each having one one redo log group and the size i have kept as 50 mb reuse so this is the command that i'll be using so let's connect to the r main session and the here the source database is is target database so the source database will be your target database so let i will maximize it for you so the target database is the source database the database on the host one or db1 and auxiliary database is the one which you are going to restore so let's take this let's set the environmental variable or 22 that's good that's so auxiliary will be aura 22 the target is aura 19 on db1 auxiliary on db2 which we are going to restore so let's hit the enter so let's verify so this is not mounted because we started it in no mount mode aura 19 is the main database that we are going to clone aura 22 is the database name which we are going to duplicate this is the database on db2 this is the database on db1 let's run the R run block and let's see if it works so let's run this let's hit this and let's say enter and if whatever we have done till now if everything is done then we should have our control files restored the data files restored and the redo log file restored in this location and when our database is restored it should be restored with name aura 22 rather than aura 19 so let's wait so let's see ls minus l nothing has appeared as of now give it a minute let's see if it's connected to auxiliary not started let's give it a minute so I, I can pause this, but I do not want to pause this. It's going to take some time. It will go through lot of the steps. It will do lot many activities behind. So let's see whether it fails. If, if something we have not done correctly, it might fail. But whatever we have done, if it is all good, then it should work fine. So let's wait ls minus l, nothing as of now. 
Let's give it a minute. So it has started restoring the control file and it says that it has restored the control files. Let's see now ls minus l and the control files restored. The data files have also been restored. So that's all good. Now it's once the restore is completed. So let's give it a minute. Then it's going to do the recover and open the database uh, finally. So give it a minute. As of now, everything is looking good. So let's see if we we still have the the first step is restore the second step is recover we still have some steps pending so i'm not going to pause the video i'm going to let it run i know that it's boring for you to just watch this particular screen but i just want to see if there is any error and i do not want to fix those error behind your screen that's why i'm not going to pause so starting media recovery so the restore is completed and now it has started the recovery media recovery finished recover that's good news so it has finished recovering let's see if it opens the database oracle instance started let's see the that's good that's good let's wait for it and alter clone database open reset log so it has opened the database in reset finished duplicate and looks like we have not got any error let me exit from this particular session let's set the on environmental variable that's all good sql plus as sysdba select name comma open mode from v dollar database Let's run this particular query and you can see the database name is Aura22 is in read write mode. Remember we created one table. So let's run that particular select star from emp and you can see we have our employee present in this particular data table database. That's good. So this is if you see this is let me clear the screen. This is your second host the db2 on this particular host we got this particular database restored which is good and if i show you where are my data files let me run this particular query the final query where is my log file redo log file where is my so you can see my data files is the redo log files is in aura 22 my system files is in aura 22 my temp file is in aura 22 and my control file is in aura 22 if i go to the source server so let, this is not the source server this is db2 so if i go to the source server and let me connect to the database so before doing that let me set the environmental variable aura 19 sql plus as sysdba and let me run the same queries again so let's take that let me run and you can see the database was in aura 19 and the database name for this is let me clear the screen okay let me clear the screen and let me run this and you can see the database aura 19 was in aura 19 and everything the database or R22 restored in a different location on a different server. So this was, this is the, the I will show you rman duplicate command once again. So I did set until time. I set the new name for the database to a different location, the temp file to a different location. I said duplicate database to or R22. I said in the SP file, set DB name to new name set the control files to new location set the audit file desk to a new location log file group to the new location this is where the backups are stored so i specified where my backups are there and i used no file name check option so this is how i did my duplicate and when we did the duplicate we renamed the database we restored it in a different location on a different server so let me let me say this again so in this particular tutorial we learned how to do the duplicate database to another server and we use the rman duplicate from backup method so if i show you here we specified the backup location we did not use the active duplication active database duplication we use the duplicate rman duplicate from database i hope you found this particular tutorial after watching this particular tutorial you should be able to 
duplicate your database to another server this particular method needs a connection to your database so this is not the rman backup and restore where you can just take the backup and restore it on another server so this is the active duplication this needs the list dns names dot aura entry etc it needs an active connection to your source server etc so it's a bit complicated however it will it works fine it you can use this particular method to duplicate your database and when you duplicate your database you can rename your database you can rename your data files to a different location and you can restore it on a different server i hope you found this particular tutorial useful I hope you like the content that I'm uploading on my YouTube channel. If you do like the content on my YouTube channel, do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button to my channel. Uh, with, your, with your support, I can record more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.